In this video, we're gonna learn how to mix vocals in 263 seconds, so let's go! We will mostly use third party plugins, so let's get an autotune. Okay, let's get an EQ as well. Okay, uh, let's add CLA vocals. We, we, we need reverb, right? We need a... we need su... what? what the hell? So, you recorded the vocals and have your plugins, but don't know what to do now? Well, I got gotcha. Let's start by organizing all the vocals by their sections. So all the verse vocals go together, all the pre-chorus vocals as well, and it will just go like that. Also, it's always a good idea to group your vocals by their sections, because you will have more control over them. After you organize the vocals, you need to go to the clips and try to find any unbalanced verse that are quieter or louder than the rest of the vocals, so you can play with the volume and match them to the rest of the vocal. After that, we need to correct the pitch of the vocals, so we need a pitch correction plugin. It doesn't matter which plugin you use, but today I'm gonna use Waves in real time. It's very easy to use, you just need to select the key and the scale of the track and play with the speed. Into my wings. As you can hear, the more I reduce the speed, the vocal starts to sound digital, so you need to try and find the sweet spot for your taste. I usually like to leave the speed in 15 milliseconds and just play with the note transition time. Rhythms have been into my wings. After that, we can add CLA vocals to give some life to the vocal. I usually like to go with Start Me Up Dry Preset and tweak from there. You might need to turn down the output volume, so there will be no volume differences when you turn off the plugin to check the difference. Now it's time to de the vocal. I like to use Sutu for de my vocals, cause you can really go into the detail and make it sound however you want. I like to start with vocal de presets and tweak to my needs. You can press the delta button and play with the bands to hear the most disturbing frequencies. After you find them, you can press the delta button to hear the full vocals. Then you can play with the depth to get rid of them. Now it's time to remove the muddiness in the vocal. You can use an EQ to adjust the low mids of the vocal, but I prefer to use Sue 2 for this as well. From the default preset, just find the bands that you want to adjust and play with the depth. Finally, you can put an EQ to cut the low frequencies and see if there is unwanted frequencies that you want to remove. Now, you can copy these plugins to your back vocals and to the other vocals as well. After that, go to the groups of your vocals by their sections and add reverb to your needs. I like to use Valhalla Vintage Verb for this, and from presets, I go with Dangan, SP Amazing Vocal. Then I adjust the mix and decay of the vocal, then voila! Now, let's hear the before and after with all the plugins. That's it! Now you know how to mix vocals. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.